Greetings. Welcome back to the Man Cave. We're having an absolutely horrible weekend here with rain, but we're not going to let that stop us from kicking off our 2013 Summer of the Burger here on Man Cave Meals. We're going to get started this week with a Man Cave rendition of the classic Carolina Chili Cheeseburger. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to get our chili started. Uh, I've got two pounds of ground chuck in here. I'm going to brown it and drain it, and then we'll be back to look at it. You can cut this recipe into whatever size you like, but when I make this, I make a lot of it because we use, use it around here on a lot of things, so we'll be back. Okay, just after our ground beef uh, starts to brown, I've got one a Vidalia onion that I've coarsely chopped. We're going to toss it in here and let that saute with the meat before we drain it. Okay, my brown, my ground beef is uh, almost completely brown and instead of draining it, what I've done is I've spooned out some of the grease and left a little bit behind. Now we're going to add a bottle of beer and today I'm using uh, Sierra Nevada's Summerfest. So we're just going to pour the whole bottle in and we're going to let this simmer just like this until that beer reduces by about half and then we'll be back. Okay, after a good bit of that beer is reduced out of there, we're going to finish this up with two and a half cups of ketchup, two thirds of a cup of mustard, just plain yellow mustard. Don't use anything fancy in this, just keep it simple. Two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of your favorite chili powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and two tablespoons of sea salt. And we're just going to mix all that in. And after we get this mixed in, we're going to let it continue to simmer uncovered until we reach a consistency that we really like and then what we'll do is put the lid on it and let it continue to simmer on low heat until we're ready to serve it and like I said if you ever decide to make this make a big batch of it because it freezes very well and it's great on hot dogs hamburgers uh, chili cheese fries just anything you can think of so we'll let this finish up and we'll get started on our coleslaw Okay, we're going to put our coleslaw together now. What I've done here is I've taken about a half of a head of cabbage and just shredded it to a consistency I like. You can do this any way you like for consistency. You can do it in a food processor and get it real fine or however you like your coleslaw. I'm going to add about a half a cup of chopped onion to that and I have julienne to carrot that we're going to add to that as well. Then we're going to add in about three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one quarter cup of sugar. This is a sweet southern creamy coleslaw and two teaspoons of tarragon vinegar and that vinegar does make a difference in this recipe so I wouldn't substitute that if you want to try to duplicate this. So we're just going to stir all this up really well and we're going to cover it up put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for a while and uh, by the time we get ready to put our burgers together this stuff's going to be good to go so we'll be back okay we're going to grind up some uh, fresh chuck here make these patties and as soon as I get this ground and get these patties made we'll be back to get them on the grill Okay, I've taken my freshly ground chuck and made two one-third pound patties. And I'm going to season these guys up with uh, this McCormick's Grillmates uh, Steakhouse Onion Burger seasoning blend. We really love that. So I'm just going to go on one side of it. And uh, I put a fairly liberal coat of that on there. And since this burger in this area of the country is most commonly cooked on a flat top, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it out to the grill and cook these on a cast iron griddle. So I'll meet you at the grill. 
Okay, I've got my grill nice and hot with this griddle on here, and we're going to lay out a little bit of clarified butter, and uh, we're going to set these patties on here and let them cook. And we'll be back in a couple minutes to flip these guys over. Okay, just when you see these guys starting to get cooked up around the edges like this, it's time to give them a flip. So you get a nice caramelization there. We'll let these cook for a couple more minutes on this side and while we do that, we're going to add another one of the staples of this burger, and that's a little bit of American cheese. So we'll melt that cheese on there and cook that side of the burger, and then we'll be back. While these burgers are finishing up, we're going to toast up a couple of buns. Tanya has made us some homemade Kaiser rolls today, so we're going to put a little light toast on the inside of each of those. And then these burgers will be ready to come off here in just a couple of minutes. Okay, these burgers are done, so I'm going to show you how we fix this guy up. Today, we're going to use a little Sierra Nevada Stout and Stone Ground Mustard. Mustard is a key ingredient on this burger, so I'm going to smear some of this on the top side of the bun. Man, that's some really good looking mustard. I can't wait to tear into that. Then... On top of our burger, we're going to spoon some of the chili that we made. And you will need napkins when you eat a burger like this. That's part of the charm of this Southern Classic. And next, we are going to load up some of that coleslaw that we made. And then top that off with the top half of our Kaiser roll that's got the mustard on it. And we're going to dig in. Okay, folks, here's your last look at this uh, man cave version of the classic Carolina chili cheeseburger. We're going to put another one together, go in and eat, and until next time, man cave meals.